Okay, are we online? Are we lining? I think we're online. All right. <laughs> I just wanted everybody to be able to see the results from Stable Diffusion and what I'm doing. Ba, ba, ba. Mm -hmm. I don't even have Visual Studio running. What kind of game dev am I? <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody. So I haven't had any coffee. You're going to have to buy through me with this or whatever that means. Just kind of hang in there with me. Uh-oh, come on, new... Control N, I know, I know. Hit Control N, Jeff, it's better. It's better. Ba -bum. Okay, so it's still working on that. So I want to save these prompts. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Not sure if this is exactly what I'm looking for, but we'll try out some of these prompts and see what we get. <coughs> oh, chat, GPT, stable, diffusion, prompts for game art one. There we go. Okay, so we can have that going on while I work on the other stuff, which is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. You know, you're multitasking. You got these AIs going back and forth for you. That's great. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Last time we had some... I won't say the numbers on the views because it'll sound like I'm talking to... Um, a small but cozy crowd. That's how we're going to describe it. I've got a small but cozy crowd. There you go. We found our niche. Our niche. <laughs> Welcome, you small and cozy crowd. Here we go. Uh, let's see what we've got the AI doing for us right now. Space Trader on a colorful voxel world. <clears throat> I think we may have found the thumbnail for our next... <laughs> Okay, and then this one, what we got it from was Wait, let's go back for a second. Colorful Dogs Planet, yeah, so let's save it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. On a colorful voxel planet, we'll call that one and we'll copy and paste that. <clears throat> oh boy, we got some beat going now. This is kind of cool. I wouldn't use this. Oh well, yeah, it could be a title screen. Because there's room to cover up some of this stuff with some nice... Hey, Vintage Lu Luigi. Hey, welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? We are doing some video game development with AI. What brings you to the stream? I also work as a security officer during the day and this is my night job. We're doing video game development C++ with OpenGL, no engine, and I use AI um, for the game design document, for advice, and for art. This looks interesting. It looks a little interesting. <laughs> so anyways, let's just keep going with some of these other prompts. Customizable spaceship soaring through a vibrant nebula. Okay, VG dev is good. I was looking for math. That is cool. Oh, I love math too. You may have come to the right place. <laughs> uh, just really quickly, I can show you some stuff in math. Um, not from my YouTube, but there's a great, um, see, I think this guy, yeah, here we go. I don't know if you've seen this one yet. Um, he's got some really good videos, Coder Space on YouTube. 
Um, another one that's really good for math, dude, and that really kind of opened the door for me for uh, shader programming. And I'm just throwing this out here for for our cozy little audience. Here is is Art of Code. Martin Steinruken is awesome. <clears throat> And some of the videos are really in-depth, and he does, like, different, you know, like, this one's, like, looks like three or four videos, because he's got some amazing stuff, but he has some really basic stuff at the beginning, um, like how to draw shapes, making a smiley, see, building stuff with circles, making a rectangle, he's really great, shader toy for absolute beginners. I came from a strong math background and knowing what math functions are available, you don't have to know all the math, but you have to know how to apply it and stuff, and that's kind of my struggle, if that is yours as well. Hey, are you into making games, or do you just do art, or what do you do? I also do Clash of Code, if you see the... Uh, whatever space energy I think that's my stream points you can redeem one clash of code and I do that on code and game but I uh, I'm not doing it right now but but I could I could <laughs> no, I'm just in a weird mood I'm on my day off and I drank last night but not too heavily I'm considering drinking tonight <laughs> okay, so also we want to continue to work on... So the game design document, where are we at? Alien NPC visual. Okay, let's. this will be interesting. Because I've been thinking about this in my head for a while. So let's start to get the prompt together. Let's go back a few... Imagine you're going to work on game design. Describe... Okay. This is the prompt I'm using. If you have any ideas or suggestions how to improve it, that would be awesome as well. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm more into crafting an MMORPG creation tool. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Seriously? Uh, post any links you got. Anything. Without AI, can I craft music, storyline, mobs to make an RPG or MMO? Without AI? Yeah, you can... You can do that. AI will help, but yeah. Music, storyline, mobs. Dude, that's cool. Yeah, do you have any... Are you doing any of it online to show people? Or are you just... Because that sounds really awesome. <laughs> what kind of... What kind of MMO? What kind of MMO? What will it be like? What's your... What's your theme? I'm, I'm doing a game design document because I kind of lost motivation for my project. And uh, I, it's really helping me to want to program it, want to make it. I make bits and pieces as I go. That's cool. That's a good way to go. And I'm, I'm doing the game design document with the entire game in, in uh, scope, but I'm really going to dumb it down and do a demo with just really basic, uh, minimal what we need. <coughs> Um, what else? I 
I have the RPG engine done. It is text-based. Oh, text-based. Oh, dude, that's awesome. One sec, let me find it. Yeah, I grew up in the BBS era, in the BBS era with door games. Uh, I'm not sure how old you are, but it says vintage in your name. <laughs> and I made some uh, door games way back, mostly a space trader. Haha, uh -huh, that's what I'm working on now for 3D graphics and stuff like that, 2D and 3D graphics. But text-based, shoot. <clears throat> We can create a base model for each species, but also use procedural generation to add variations to their appearance, such as different skin colors, textures, and appendages. This will allow for a wide variety of unique looking aliens. We can also draw inspiration from various sci-fi media to create distinct and recognizable designs for each species. The overall goal is to create a visually appealing and diverse cast of aliens that will make the game feel more immersive and, engineer and interesting. Okay, alright. That sounds like a good game design document answer, doesn't it? Sound and music. Oh. Oh, this is a whole new section. Overview of the sound effects. Now here's something that I haven't thought about. I really haven't thought about this. Let's see what Stable Diffusion is doing. Oh, look at this. Cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. I lo Look at the background there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Maybe it's just the nebula. I don't know. That's just cool. Cool. I realize it's just one image superimposed on another, but that looks cool. <laughs> Save image three. Look at the ship on that one. That looks weird. Through a vibrant neb nebula. Let's try a faded nebula. See what we get. Alright. Overview of the sound effects. Here we go. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, back. Hey, what's up? What you got? <laughs> see, that one I seem a little bit unfamiliar. Like, I don't know what I'm doing.
There we go. See, chat GPT. Yeah, absolutely. Link away, man. I am uh, all for showing off what other people are doing and talking about it and loving it. Absolutely. <coughs> it's great to have an upbeat background music that changes to create different moods. In terms of sound effects, it would be good to have a variety of sounds for different actions in the game, such as launching a ship, collecting resources, firing weapons, and interacting with NPCs, oh yeah, and voiceovers. We can use free sound resources to start with, but we may also consider hiring a sound designer to create unique sounds that fit the game's aesthetic. Yeah, that sounds, you know, like something that I could hire someone for, because I'm working now and making money, so that'd be fine. Additionally, we can add sound effects to emphasize events, like when the player reaches a new planet or encounters a rare resource. Oh yeah, there you go. Sound effects can add another level of engagement and immersion to the game. Okay, that is a great idea. That's a great idea. Because I have like no experience putting sound in games at all. None whatsoever. Well, very little. Very, very little. In fact, I had trouble with a sound API once and I just gave it up. I, I got it to work really for just one thing and that was it. Okay, stable diffusion, what you got? Okay, cool. So we changed this to a faded nebula and it looks a little better, I guess. It's still, the nebula is really amazing in the background. Barebones RPG engine. Hold up, let me save these. And we'll check that out, dude. Look at that, that's kind of cool. I like that one. I like the ship on that one. That's cool. Okay, so let's see what you got. Um, or let's go to the next stable diffusion prompt since that takes a little bit. Exploring an abandoned eerie space station? What? Did I ask for that? Did I ask for that? <laughs> oh, sorry. I just have too much fun with this. Let's see where this link shows up. Go to the tree story. Click the next line below to continue. Making Lisa happy. Backpack, jar of coins, fight. Once every two seconds with stats below. Wait, what? A bit like blackjack, you get one point every time you press the hit me button, and five points if the sum is from 18 to MC Pinks. Hey man, what's up? Welcome to the stream. You get no points if you bust. Minigame, hit me, next hand. Oh dude, this is cool, what are you doing? Go to the tree that, oh, go to the area. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I heard somebody saying something. <laughs> That's cool. Just messing around with Mid Journey. Mid Journey is cool. Dude, are you paying for Mid Journey? Wow. Because I, I know I've got only 25 queries and I've got it in my Discord. I've only used it a few times. Makes me nervous. I'm just doing Stable Diffusion because it's free. I'm all about free. <laughs> Click the next line below to continue. Oh, this is cool. Vintage Luigi. This is vintage Luigi uh, stuff here. <laughs> what did it say? That's hilarious. Some of this stuff is hilarious. Data. What's this stuff? Show me the data. I will figure it out. Click here for the official fight strategy guide. Oh, is this a pop up? Different areas have different level mobs. Be sure you are high enough level to defeat mobs in the next year. Reckon you level two, two times the mobs in the current area. Oh, look at this. Text-based. 
RPG. Fight once every two seconds with stats below. Oh, and it's keeping track of A versus B. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. Um, let's add this into. Where do we want to go? Let's put it in temporary. It auto fights. Yeah, that's cool. The end. <laughs> let's refresh. I haven't done the fight controls yet. Oh, okay. Well, this is cool, dude. It looks like you got a really good start. And I like how it's all online. So that's really cool. <coughs> Whoa, an abandoned Eerie space station. Okay. Thanks for sharing that, man. That's really cool. I should get one of those bots and then I can add links that people share in the chat and then the bots would rotate through and occasionally show those links. That would be, that would be, I should have chat GPT help me with that. <laughs> Setting up a bot to do that. In fact, I should make a new folder. Um, let me see. Let me make a new folder here. Uh, you can tell I'm really disorganized. That isn't everybody. Let's go with um, shared on shared on stream. There we go. And let's go into that temporary where I put you and we'll move you to shared on stream because I think that's really cool. There we go. Now I can find it. Stuff that people share on my stream. I got an Insta of my mid-journey picks. Oh, that's cool. Let's take a look. I'm I'm really liking what the AI stuff's putting out, so I'm down to look. Let's see. Oh, let's go back to music. Can we get the music again? There we go. This looks this looks eerie because of the uh, because of the person or thing at the end <laughs> or thing 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 <laughs> at the end of the thing. Oh, that has a comma in the title, but that's fine. Dude's like, what? The door be open? What? <laughs> I don't really like the person in that one, but I like how they add the person because it says eerie. What is that? That's cool. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, this one's really cool. I like this one. I like that one. This one is really cool. I can see using this on my title screen. Oh, dude, what do we got? Okay. Dude. Why does it show it on the second one and I gotta drag it over? Here we go. Oh, look at this. Follow, follow, follow. There we go. Oh, Instagram got a new look. That's cool. Oh, dude, seriously? Wow, look at this. You know, I thought about, because doing the 3D stuff, it would be so great to have just a... a um, like a folder of all this stuff and then have the game access the folder and put up like paintings that you walk through you know or fly through and it would have all this art from an artist featured and artists can put all their stuff in there dude some cool stuff look at this MC Pinks we're adding that to our shared on stream go in there I I don't trust that dude these are awesome 
You must be an excellent prompt engineer. You would work for my company and make us billions. <laughs> Sorry, that's one of my favorite voice uh, types. Not trying to offend anyone, just having fun. <laughs> you got the 420 in there. Ba, 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 ba. Dude, I saw a streamer. There's a streamer who just is making cards, you know, like trading cards and stuff. Ex explicitly with his, um, I think it's Mid Journey or one of them with his prompts. I saw that guy too. Yeah, he's cool. Great idea too, isn't it? Dude, these are beautiful. I haven't seen one of these that I just like don't like. These are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that one. Interesting. <laughs> We're like, yeah, I saw that guy too. I don't know. <laughs> Dude. Aren't these cool? Look at that one. That's cool. These are all gorgeous. What's going on there? Is that... <laughs> and the Mario. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Thanks for sharing, dude. Really, thanks for sharing. This is awesome. Mid Journey, isn't this amazing? Have, have, these are all Mid Journey? Wow. Dude. How many are there? We're just going to keep going. Oh, I love the eyes on these. Look at that. That was a hummingbird, was it? Weird. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. You know, as gorgeous as these are, I could do page by page video game, you know, where one page, there's interaction on the page, and then just to show off the art. I should do something like that. <laughs> wow, dude. Look at this. Yeah, my experience with Mid Journey is that it makes great, absolutely great. Like, it'd be worth it for the money, but I, I'm uh, not, not thinking about a budget for it yet. <laughs> but it will be in the future. For now, I'm content with Stable Diffusion. <laughs> that one looks like it's plugged into a light socket with no wall, but that's cool. Wow, look at these. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh shoot, that hunger thing is hitting me. And I've got cereal and coffee waiting. I mix my cereal. I use I use coffee on my cereal instead of um Oh wow, look at these guys. The horror of it all. The alien horror of it all. <laughs> this one looks like um the little Pikachu dude, is it? Went partying and just stayed out a little too late. <laughs> wow, are these Mid Journey or is this that other one? Are these all Mid Journey? Because these kind of remind me not of Mid Journey but of the. Um, Um, what's that one? Crayon or whatever? Where it's all kind of... <laughs> oh, it's over. Okay, dude, that's so cool. Crayon. Okay, yeah, crayon. That's what I did for a while. Tried those out. Um, do I have mine on here? Hey! Mine has been just for my video game art that I've done over the years. I think the last one I posted was this one from 
couple months ago. This is the Space Arena game I'm making, the 2D game. Uh, this is from the 3D Space Voxel Worlds, that's the water and the, and the blocks and stuff. I'm just starting out, so I'm trying, experimenting with a lot of stuff. This is from like a 2D platformer I was wanting to do. This is a 2D uh, circular maze. I was trying different shapes for buildings and stuff over there. And here's what I was trying with my logo, with my company name that I thought of, but not sure if that's going to be the, the actual company name. This is when I discovered the math, the math uh, shader code and stuff, and started going crazy with what I could do just with math, not with any other. And then here's some of the other voxel worlds I tried different trees uh, trees and grass and stuff with a spinning cube kind of levitating in the air for a, a kind of an exit or a teleport and then this is using sine and cosine for flowers and stuff this is a pyramid um, this is what I was talking about kind of like with paintings and stuff because I put each each painting has a different shader code and then the floor has random See, and then I made a maze like that. So each each wall each wall segment in the maze has a different painting on it. Like that'd be so cool to do. And this is with the geometry shader. Uh, and then this is with the beginning. This is kind of my motivation from the beginning is gems. This is like a basic gem. I was kind of fascinated with gems and stuff like that. So, so there's my Instagram. If you guys want to follow that one, I will link that in the chat as well. Boop. I don't really do much with Instagram. I need to start doing it, but thank you very much for sharing. That's awesome. And now we got it here. Can show it off in the future. So I guess what I should say is, anytime you come back into the uh, chat and we want to show off your stuff, or if you have something new, show me. We will highlight it. And I export all my VODs to YouTube. Like, I'm going to do that shortly here. We're going on a half an hour. So, did I did I add this to my game design document? Yes. Okay, overview of the music. I don't currently have music for the... <laughs> don't currently have music for the game, but let's talk about it. Chat GPT, let's talk. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble here. See, I'm talking, brainstorming, just kind of like I'm talking to an assistant that's working for me. Did I save all these? Okay, so let's get to the next one of those. Traversing a treacherous asteroid field. Oh. I like what I got when it says customizable spaceship. So I'm wondering if I should add that to the prompt. Customizable spaceship. Traversing a treacherous asteroid field. We're, we're going to add to the prompt here. I'm, I'm becoming an advanced prompt engineer, guys. <laughs> 
Okay, so that's working on that. I got this. Based on your preferences, it sounds like a space scene soundtrack, soundtrack with a mix of 8-bit and modern elements could be a good fit for the game. It's also worth considering dynamic music that changes based on the player's actions. Yeah, we've already talked about that. That sounds great. Such as different tracks for different areas of the game, different types of encounters. It's important to take music, make sure the music is not repetitive and enhances the overall experience for the player. You could work with a composer or license licensing existing tracks to achieve the desired mu music for the game. <clears throat> Let's see what he says to that. Or she could be a she, AI, I don't know. <laughs> That's a great idea. Allowing users to customize their own music playlists in the game would add a personal touch and enhance their gaming experience. So it would also provide an opportunity for them to showcase their own music taste and share it with others who may be playing the game. Oh, that's great. Yeah, okay. Well, when we get into multiplayer, uh, I think each individual client will have its own, um, it's going to have their own music. You're not going to be influencing what other people listen to with music, I don't think. The that could be an option to listen to other people's music. Maybe that would be an interesting game in and of itself. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba. So there we go. I like what we've written there. Overview of the ambient sounds. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's see what Stable Diffusion came up with next for this. Oh, this really, I'm liking this stuff here. Definitely has that AI quality to it, which actually I'm down for. I like it. Boop. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Interesting. These are all cool. Oh, I like that one. I like these neat little things. And is that a huge asteroid in the distance? Okay. So now I got to go into this. Hold on. Let's look at this. Let's go with. Um, I know we have thumbnails here. Well. See, because I want to add, let's go with faves. Let's go new folder, thumb, nail, faves, like that. Like, I want to put this one in there for sure. And I want to put, is it this one? Yeah, I love that one. And this one. And then we'll move thumbnail faves into thumbnails. And then we'll move all of these into thumbnails. Let's go look at thumbnails. Um, so faves now. Um, these are some good ones too. Some of these are mid journey. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I think these ones are mid journey. And I saved the file name as the uh, prompt that I used. These are cool. Um, these would make great. Uh, thumbnails for my game and the ship. Uh, would I call it a fave though? Would I call that a fave? This one, that one, let's go with this one and that one. And cut. Faves. Are we liking that? Okay. There we go. Let's get extra large icons for our faves.
this one. I like this one because of the thruster and the background there, so let's move that to phase. That one's kind of cool, but the ship is a little... Uh, Kind of like this one. I would call that one a favorite because I could see that being in the space trader. I really like these post-apocalyptic ones, but we'll have to wait until I get uh, some of that into the game. Of course, we haven't made the game yet. <laughs> I, I just really keep liking this one. Every time I see it, we're going to put that one in phase. These are cool but I don't know which ones we want to use. <laughs> that one looks wild, and I like it. And then these are just weird, weird stuff. I like it, okay. Okay, this one is going to be a favorite. What about that one? Yeah, let's use both of those because they look great, in my opinion. That one looks really good too, but I like the other ones because they have like a portal kind of a thing. And then this was the weird stuff. <laughs> and then there's that castle, okay. Anything else that we really need for favorites? A rustic forest village. These were kind of cool, but yeah. These were cool too, yeah. Okay, this is cool, but uh, I like this one. Okay. Okay. What, do, what else do we got? This one was really weird, but I like it. <laughs> I. <laughs> I might move that to favorites just because I really like it. Or that one. Those two. Both of those. Let's go with both of those. Cut. Paste. That one's kind of cool. And that one is too. And that one. And those, all five of those. Or six. Yeah, there's five. Okay, fine. <laughs> he can count, ladies and gentlemen. He can count. Wait. Can we paste into there? Are you letting me paste in there, computer? All right. Now we're getting a nice collection of favorites. That's cool. Okay, that's awesome. 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 And that, there's nothing saying that these aren't my favorites. That's just the reason I've saved them as well, so that's cool. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay. Let's do the next stable diffusion trade negotiations with an alien species. <laughs> it's going to be an image. Okay. Okay, overview of the ambient sounds. It seems pretty straightforward, so let's just tell ChatGPT. And admittedly, we're not doing much with music just yet, but we will. And sounds. Um, <laughs> not giving chat GPT much to go on in this one. Ambient sounds are an important aspect of creating a, a captivating game world. For a space theme, theme game like ours, look at that. <laughs> we could consider using sounds like the hum of the ship's engine, the whir whirring of the equipment, the beep of sensors, the creaking of metal, and so on. 
We can also experiment with using different sounds for different environments, such as the sound of wind on a planet's surface, or the gurgling of water in an underwater world. These sounds can be subtle and add to the overall immersive experience of the game. We could work with a sound designer to create a range of ambient sounds that fit with the game's overall aesthetic. Okay, that's like 100,000% more than I was putting in, so I said make it spacey. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, don't forget the comma there. I should do word wrap, but whatever. I like doing this. Okay, well, that's been 45 minutes. We went through the uh, music and sounds. Um, one thing that I do want to add is um, voice over for Excuse me, let's part, let's just burp right into the microphone. I did, that was quite a lot to add to the, um, oh shoot, did it just take away everything that I just typed in? That sucks. Can I go back on my stream and look at that? Because that was a great little prompt. Let me look. Boop. Can I go back? <laughs> get that prompt that I just wrote. Computer. It just deleted my, my old prompt. Son of a bean. It did that before and it came out. Uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to go get that prompt by exporting it to YouTube and then 
and then getting a screenshot of that and then I'll just retype it in and then I'll possibly do another stream to record that but yeah oh dude look they even got a comic kind of a thing interesting interesting this is interesting hold on let me save these <laughs> oh this is cool this is perfect perfectly cool hey guys what's up <laughs> that's crazy Okay, so we'll leave off there. And then the last one that we went through was this one. That's good. So we've already done those. And those are the ones to do in the future. Those are great. These are great, yeah, because maybe I'll stream again. I want to I wanna get that uh, screenshot and then capture that, um, capture what I typed into chat GPT that it erased. So promptly erased. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so thanks for tuning in for this stream. I'm going to eat and then we'll figure a bunch of stuff out. We'll be back probably later because it's my day off and I, I just feel like streaming and working on the game. It gives me a, a, a fun thing to do. Of course, there's also Smite. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for the follow, MC Pinks. Um, looks like we got some follows while I was gone. Eltmon and Baxero. I may have been drinking last night. Thank you for following while I was drinking. That was a fun stream as well. <laughs> All right, we'll see everybody next time. <laughs>